Hello friends, I'm going to talk about pre-implantation genetic screening, that is PGS or uh, PGD. Uh, they in, they cha use it interchangeably. So what is this PGS? Pre-implantation genetic screening, that is we are screening the imp embryos before implantation. Before putting the uh, embryo into a uterus, we are checking the embryo if it is genetically normal. So why should you do this? This is useful test for people with multiple previous IVF failure or previous multiple abortions or miscarriages or if your age is more than 40, there is a high chance of Down syndrome or chromosomal problems in the baby. So in these women, we can definitely use this PGS, pre implantation genetic screening. So how do we do it? We do a normal IVF cycle, create embryos. Single or multiple cells from embryo is taken and the embryo is frozen and these cells, we do genetic testing. We see if the embryo is chromosomally or genetically normal. If the embryo is genetically normal, the embryo has a very high potential for implantation and you can avoid the risk of Down syndrome. If your age is even more than 40, you are using your own eggs, you can still avoid the risk of Down syndrome by doing this procedure PGS. And one biggest advantage of this test is, you just need to transfer single normal embryo. You don't have to transfer two or three embryo. You can avoid the risk of having a multiple pregnancy. You will have more embryos for transfer. In that way, your IVF cycle outcome can be optimized. In some countries, they use this testing for uh, gender selection, but obviously we all know in India it is banned, we can't use this. We can use it for improving the IVF success, avoiding miscarriage and to prevent this Down syndrome. Thank you for watching this video, all the best. Thank you for watching this video. In case you have any questions, you can comment in this video or you can send an email at aishwarya.in at gmail.com or you can contact us through our website which is aishwaryafertility.com which is mentioned in the video. Thank you.